in this video I'm going to show you how to draw this cute bear for Valentine's Day. I'm going to show you all the steps so you can draw this even if you are a beginner. And if you will enjoy this video and would like to draw more of me, make sure to check out my Patreon, where I have more step-by-step -step tutorials like this, and I also have their many Procreate brushes. Before you start drawing, make sure to download the color palette, it is linked in the description of this video, and my new Procreate brushes that I made especially for the Valentine's Day. They are free, and they are also linked in the description of this video. And with all that being said, let's start. Let's make a new canvas. A for canvas from Procreate. And we are going to start this bear with drawing the heart that he's holding. First, let's pick the color for this. Take this one. And here to make it easier, I've prepared a stamp brush for this. Heart outline. Let's make the brush size 63%. And we can just stamp it in the middle of the canvas. Somewhere closer to the bottom part of it. Around here. If it didn't stamp exactly in the middle of the canvas, that's no problem, we can just move it now with the arrow tool. At the bottom I have uniform option selected. And here I have snapping turned on. And that's why I can move it now here like this and it will snap to the middle of the canvas. Let's tap here to finish. And now we are going to base our sketch around this heart. So let's make a new layer now. We can change the color. We can pick any color. Let's take something gray. And let's pick the brush for the sketch. Let's go to sketching. And we can take 6B pencil. My brush size will be 100%. And we can draw his head first. Let's draw a circle like this. And now we can adjust this shape like this. Let's give him some cheeks here. By the way, you can use my sketch tool. It is together with the color palette when you download it. I'm going to move this head up a little bit. I'll take the arrow tool. Let's add the ears. So let's draw an arc like this. And now the second one here. If you want to keep him symmetrical, you can turn on the symmetry tool. You can just go to the actions menu, then canvas. Then turn on drawing guide and pick edit drawing guide. At the bottom you can pick symmetry. And in the options make sure vertical is selected. Then tap on done. I don't want my bird to be symmetrical, that's why I'm not using this today. But if you want your bird to be symmetrical, you can just use it and then draw it that way. So let's continue our sketch. Let's draw smaller parts of the ears here like this. The middle part of the ears. Now we can draw his nose somewhere in the middle of his head. Let's draw a triangle like that. Now a little line going down here and we can give him a small smile like that. I want the smile to be going up this way a little bit here. Now let's draw a shape like this going above his nose and closing here like that. And his eyes, let's draw them in an oval shape. Let's draw them on that line in the middle of his head. Let's give him some brows like that. And he'll have his cheeks. Blush. Now let's draw him his hands. 
It will be very simple shape. Let's start with an oval like that. And now we can add here a small thumb. Same for this side. And the thumb. And now his feet. We'll keep them very simple today. Let's draw an oval like that. And a smaller one in the middle. Same here. And a smaller one in the middle again. And our sketch is ready. Now before we start adding the outline, I'm just going to move him down a little bit. So first I have to select also the heart. So let's open the layers and swipe on this other layer to the right. Let's take the arrow tool now and just move it down a little bit. Let's tap here to finish. And now we can start the outline. We are going to outline on a separate layer the head and then the hands and the feet. Let's make a new layer now. And let's move this under the layer with the heart. I'm just going to rename this. So I'll tap here and I pick rename. It will be head outline. We can rename this one to the heart. Outline. And this one we can name sketch. So before we outline the head, let's change the blending mode of the sketch. So let's tap here and let's set it to multiply. And we can turn down the opacity of this. Let's make it 38. Now let's go to the layer the head outline and let's change the color. Let's take this one and let's pick the brush. Let's go to calligraphy and take monoline brush. Let's make the brush size 20 and outline the head. If you feel that your line is too shaky, you can change the brush settings. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. So let's open the brushes, let's tap on this brush here. And let's go to the stabilization. And you can change the amount of the stabilization and the streamline. I'll make it just a little bit bigger, 40% here. You can adjust it to your liking, just make sure you don't exaggerate. Let's tap on done. And now let's do that outline. It's much easier now. Let's outline the ears. And I'm not going to outline the middle part of the ear. Okay. And now we can do his nose and eyes. Let's color them inside. So drag and drop the color here. And now you can tap here on continue filling and color it like that. Tap here to finish. And now for the mouth, we can change the brush size. Let's make it smaller, 11%. Draw a line like this. And for his brows, I want to change the brush. Let's go to inking and take studio pen. Let's make the brush size 29. 
and draw them like that. Now let's outline his hands and feet. Let's make a new layer for this. And let's move this one above the heart outline. Let's name this. Let's just say here body outline. And we can go back to our brush, the monoline brush. Let's make the brush size again 20. And outline the hands. And now his feet. I'm going to fix this little piece in a second. I'm not outlining the middle part. And now this one. So now I'll take the eraser, I'll tap on it again, and I will also set it to monoline brush. I'll make the brush size 28, and I will just fix this here. And here. So now the outline is ready, we can start coloring this. We can start with his hands and his feet. To color them, let's open the layers and let's tap on this layer here and set it to reference. Now we can make a new layer and move this under the layer with the reference. And we can now pick the color and just drag and drop it in those shapes. So let's pick the color. Let's take this one. And just drag and drop it here like this. Continue filling here, here and here. Tap here to finish. And now we can do the same for the heart and for his head. So let's open the layers. Now let's tap here on the head outline. Set this one to reference, make a new layer, and move this under that layer of the reference. And now let's take this color and drag and drop it in here. Now let's do it to the heart. So let's go to the heart outline, set it to reference, make a new layer, move this under that layer of the reference, and let's pick the color. Let's take this one, drag and drop it in here. Now let's add color to his ears and to his face here. So let's open the layers. First we have to turn off that reference here. And let's go to the layer of his head color. Let's make a new layer above it and set it to clipping mask. This way, whatever we are going to draw here will be visible only on the area of the shapes that are on the layer underneath it. Let's change the color. Take this one. And we can color here the ears. Let's close this shape here. And color it inside. Now this one. Close this and color it. And now his mouth here like this. Let's color this inside. On the same layer we can draw the blush. Let's change the color. Take this one. And draw those ovals like that. And color them inside. Now we still have to add the color to his feet here, so let's go to the layer of the color on the feet and make a new layer above it and set it to clipping mask. Let's go back to that lighter brown color, this one, and draw here the ovals. Let's color this and now this one. Now we can turn off that sketch. So let's just tap here 
we don't need to see this anymore. And we can still add white spots in his eyes. Let's go to the head outline and we can just do it on this layer. Let's take the white color like this and draw dots here in his eyes. Okay, now we have all the colors ready. I'm just going to fix this shape a little bit quickly. I'll go to this layer here, I'll take the eraser and I'll just fix it. Now we can start adding shadows to him. So let's open the layers and let's make a new layer. It will be above the feet and hands. Let's set it to clipping mask. So whatever we are going to draw here will be clipped to this layer of the hands and feet. Let's change the color now. Take this one and we can make the brush size bigger. Let's make it 100% and let's add the shadow. Let's add the shadow on the right side of him, like that, on his feet, here at the bottom part of his feet, like that, on this hand over here. And now on this one here. And now with the smaller brush size, 11% we can add a very small shadow here on this thumb and here on this one on this side. Now of course this is not the right color. We have to change something here. We are going to change the bending mode of this layer. So let's tap here on this end letter and we can set this one to overlay and we can turn down the opacity now. Let's make it 23%. And now we have to do the same to the heart and to his head. Let's start with the heart. So let's go to this layer here. And let's make a new layer above it and set it to clipping mask. Right away we can change it to overlay. And here also we can start with 23% opacity. And we can always change it later. Let's make the bar size bigger again, 100%. And let's draw the shadow here like that. Let's color all of this. Now we can add a little bit of shadow here under his hand. And his thumb. Same on this side. And let's make the brush smaller. 35. And add a little bit of shadow here. like that. On this heart we are going to have some highlights. Let's make a new layer for them. Let's set it to clipping mask. And here also we are going to change the bending mode of this to overlay. Now we can change the color. We'll take this one. And let's make the brush size again 100%. And draw some highlights here like that. Follow the shape of the heart. Now maybe here a little bit and the bigger one over here. We can turn on the opacity of this. Let's set it to 70%. Now let's add the shadow to his head. So let's go to this layer here with the details on his head and make a new layer above it. Let's set it to clipping mask. Let's set this to overlay. And turn down the opacity to 23% like before. Let's go back to that dark color. This one. And draw the shadow on his head. We'll have the shadow over here. And then here like that. Maybe I'll make this even more here, like this here. 
and now a little bit on his ear here like this and going this way we'll have also just a little shadow here I'll make the brush size smaller 20% and here so our shadows are ready now we can add here a text I love you let's make a new layer for this and we are going to move this layer above the heart so it will be clipped to this let's pick the color for the text take this one and to add the text we are going to go to the actions menu add and pick add text let's move it down here and let's write I love you let's tap on this word here and pick here select all now we can tap here to change the font if you have any specific font that you would like to use you can just pick it I'm going to take this one Sintali I'm going to leave the link for this in the description of the video so you can download it too and we can tap here on done we can make it bigger here with the arrow tool I would like this to be bent a little bit so it will follow the shape of the heart we can use here the warp option and we can just bend it like that now we can move this line down and this one up this one a little bit like that When you finish just up here now we can work on the background first we can pick the color for the background let's open the layers here and go to the background color and here I couldn't decide if I want this color or this color that's why I added those two colors here for you so you can decide which one you like more I'm going to pick this pink one let's tap on done now let's add some shadow under the bear let's make a new layer for this and let's move this all the way to the bottom of the layers so it will be right above the background color let's pick the color now let's take this one and we are going to draw here an oval shape under the bear draw it like that you can keep it a little bit more here on this side let's color this inside and now we're going to make this softer we are going to blur this let's go to the adjustments and let's pick here Gaussian blur swipe your pencil on the screen to the blur size let's make it 15 now tap here and tap again we are going to blur this again but this time we'll take the motion blur with the motion blur the blur depends on which direction you are going to swipe your pencil so if you swipe it like this it will blur this way we are going to swipe it horizontal let's make the blur size 64 tap here to finish and now we can change the blending mode of this layer so this color will be different let's tap here and let's set this one to overlay this is a little bit too light now we can duplicate this to make this stronger and we're going to change here the blending mode again this time we'll set it to multiply and we can turn on the opacity of this one let's make it 51% and now let's duplicate it again and I want to have this part darker and here outside a little bit lighter 
So we can take the eraser, we can tap on it again and let's set it to airbrushing and soft brush. With the brush size 16%, we can very lightly erase it here like this to make this shadow softer on the sides. Okay, now we can add some hearts and sparkles to the background here. Let's open the layers and let's make a new layer above everything, above the body outline. Let's pick the color here. Let's take this one and let's pick the brush. We are going to use my new free brushes. Let's start with this one, hearts. With the brush size 15, we are going to draw a wavy line like this. So start from this corner here, go like that and like this. Let's do it again. And now we can change the blending mode of this layer. So let's tap here and let's set it to overlay. And we can now erase those hearts on his head, so it will look like those hearts are going behind his head here and then turning around here. So let's take the eraser and let's just erase it here like this. Let's make it smaller maybe, 8% and just erase it from his head. This one's on his ear, can stay. Let's add some more hearts here. Let's make a new layer for this. Now we can change the color. We'll take this red one. And we can change the brush. I'm going to take here mini hearts. Of course, if you want, you can pick any other brushes here and do your own background. My brush size here will be 69. And I will follow that line that we already have here. Like this. I'm going to change the blending mode here. I will set this one to add. And again, I'm going to raise the hearts from his head. Now I still want to add a little bit more glow here. I'll make a new layer. I'll change the color. We can take this one now. And we can change the brush. Let's take mini hearts glitter. And with the brush size 23, we can just follow this line like that again. And we can change the bending mode of this. Let's set this one to overlay. Now again, we are going to erase it from his head. And we can now still duplicate this layer to make this a little bit stronger. So let's swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. I like how this looks here. But here I think it's a little bit too strong, so I'm going to raise it here. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can share your drawing with me on my Instagram. And if you would like to draw more of me, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!